What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on the final video in our series of my 2024 rig rundown where I've been showing you all the equipment that I'm personally wearing in 2024. And we're going to end this video series out with dive accessories. And I'm going to actually show you all the dive accessories I use while diving now it's not every dive accessory that i have and there's a lot of things i keep saying a save a dive kit and things like that these are just the items i keep on my persons whether they're clipped off they're in a pouch maybe they're in a pocket of a dry suit leg something of that sort these are accessories that i actually use while underwater and i've got a laid out in of course the types of diving i do so of course we're going to start with the recreational and the teaching side we're going to look at the technical side and then we'll get a on down to the end to the public safety side and i'll be showing you all the different items that i'm personally using during a dive so with that being said let's jump over here to the table and let's take a closer look at the accessories that i use in my 2024 rig rundown all right guys as you can see i have a slew of different accessories that i use and i do have them broken up into individual categories you will notice there are some accessories that are identical to others such as let's say that set of shears is going to be identical to this set of shears and they are different colors i, I don't really get caught up in color because that's one of those items you're going to learn really quick i just use and get rid of however I do use them on every single dive. Now, I do want to make a quick comment too. Some of these accessories are the spares to the actual accessories that I'm using, such as these blue ones here. They're just here. That's a set of spares that I keep in a save a dive kit because the actual one that I use in that rig is here on this BCD here. So there are going to be some spares up here that I just didn't want to de-rig it for my system to show you. So they are just spares. So with all that being said, we're going to start over here on the left and we are going to look at my teaching accessories. These are accessories I take with me on every single dive that I'm teaching, whether it's say a recreational class, an instructor level course, something of that sort. And let's briefly go through everything that I've got. Of course, I have a spare working double ender. This gets clipped to my right shoulder D-ring. Moving on down, down. I've got a, a line cutter here from Mario's. This is on my hip strap and it stays just to the left of the buckle. So imagine the center line of your body. It's just going to be just to the left of me and that way I can get to it with either hand. Of course, set of diving shears here. These are from Lifeguard Systems here. I absolutely love these. I bet you I've got 20 pair of these. Uh, I've got one on every single BCD I've got minus my two side mount regs or side mount BCDs and they actually stay on the left side of of my shoulder and they actually attach to um, my corrugated hose for my low pressure inflator. So that's where those attach there. Of course, I've got a compass here and it's just the Mares XR compass. Uh, this is one of those crossover items. That item will actually cross over to all these other or other systems as well. And I just, it stays in my dive box. So it actually stays up here in the lid of my dive box and then whatever system I'm using, I just throw that system into the box. So I always have it with me. I have two sets of teaching slates. These are my standard Standard recreational teaching slates nothing fancy with those it's got all the recreational classes from SSI and then I have my professional teaching slates this these are the slates that I use when I'm teaching and evaluating brand new instructors and new dive masters these and you can see I've got a whole slew of slates here for different programs from dive master to assistant instructor to instructor and I very recently taught a course so you can see you will see the students grades there you go so yeah that's my teaching slates there. Um, typically, the way I carry these, uh, this stays clipped to my crotch D-ring. All right, so I just clip off with a double ender here, and then it stays stuffed in my waist strap. So imagine it clipped to the crotch D-ring and then stuffed down in the waist strap. Of course, this is just clipped to one of the D-rings, depending on what I'm needing. Usually when I have this, buoyancy control means nothing to me and having danglies means nothing because i'm there to evaluate a student's teaching ability or briefing ability so that's what that's there this obviously just if i'm not teaching instructor courses doesn't go with me on my right hip d-ring i have a combo unit which is a real and smb and if you saw my real and smb video i'll link it down below for you 
this this is one of the systems I use for teaching. It's nothing really fancy. I believe it's a, maybe a 50 or 25 foot reel, something like that. Uh, standard four to five foot uh, SMB, but it's an all in one unit, which I really like. Super easy to use. Clips off from my right hip D ring. Uh, the snorkel I don't use, but unfortunately, because training agencies still say that they're very important at 100 foot of water, uh, I still got to keep a snorkel with me as an instructor, and I use the roll up snorkel, um, and it just goes either in a thigh pocket if I'm in a dry suit, maybe teaching wintertime time or I just shove it between my waist belt something like that as far as a light this is another crossover item this item crosses over to all this equipment uh, this is just the Orca Torch uh, D520 it's one of the best lights Orca Torches makes and of course I clip this off to my right shoulder strap and then there's a piece of elastic strap that kind of holds it down to the shoulder strap so it's not dangling next item up of course is another crossover item this works across the board for everything that i can use it for and it's our brand new lake hickory scuba ultimate diving mirror if you've not seen our video on this check it out i'm gonna link it up top for you i'm gonna link it down below check it out this has been a top seller for us for the last few months we have sold a boatload of these i think we are on case number four or case number five of these that we sold they come in a slew of different colors uh, normally i would run the red but we are completely sold out on red and uh, i had to sell mine to a gentleman the other day so i'm currently using the black one now but i love the ultimate diving mirror make sure you check out our video on that now we're going to move over and like i said that is a of course, a crossover item, it works for all different types. Once again, it just stays actually with the compass in my uh, lid organizer there, and then whatever, whatever rig I'm using just gets thrown in the box and then from there. Now let's move on over to my side mount system. So when we think of side mount, I actually dive both double tank side mount recreationally, double tank side mount technically uh, or technical. I also dive single tank recreational in side mount as well. So some of these items don't always go in the pouch here, but we are going to be looking at it because some of them do. Some of them don't always apply. However, starting up the top, I just got an SMB and reel, and this is for open water side mount, whether it's recreational, technical, whatever. Um, and I've got several different reels here. I've got different lengths of reel, and I even got a rec slash cave reel here too. So there's different lengths, and no, I don't carry them all at once. But say if I'm in an overhead environment, uh, typically I won't have the SMB. I'll just carry these reels and I'll carry this reel system here, or these spools in this reel system here. And of course, they all go in the pouch too. Of course, I keep zip ties. What are the zip ties for? Well, it just depends. A lot of times it's to fix things on the fly if I need to. They don't weigh nothing. They don't take up any space here in my pouch. So I just carry zip ties as well. Think of a save a dive kit that you actually get to take underwater with you. I've got two things of bungee here. One is tank bungees as far as how I attach the tank to my system, to my BC. It's just a spare that I can wrap around me really quick. And then these are the hose restrainer, uh, just spare bungee that I can use if I need to. Maybe I break one of those and I don't want my hoses flopping around. Of course, I got some line errors that are used, you know, overhead environments, even non-overhead environments. We use them to map all the time in the water. So that's what that's for. Of course, I've got a set of slates here and these are my decompression slates. It's what I use, uh, you know, for whatever I needed underwater. I can communicate with another diver. Also got my decompression times on there. Uh, moving on over, of course, I've got just another slate that I carry with me here in the pouch. It's also got a compass built in too, and it's just a spare is all it is. This is not typically with me, say, on recreational dives, but if I'm mapping an area, that's what that is for. And of course, all that is carried with the butt pouch here. It's the Mares XR butt pouch. It's got several different pockets. One here, it's got one on the back that I keep my wet notes or my slates in. And it's great, easy. Once all that is stuffed in there, it's really not that big. It's only just a couple inches thick. So it gives me a little extra weight when I'm in side mount. And of course, I can pick and choose whatever I want to uh, use in there. Now, if it's in a technical situation, I have one more piece of gear that I use, of course, and that is my spare mask. This happens to be the spare mask that I also use. We're going to see it here briefly, that I also use in a public safety setting. Uh, but that's that also goes in there. And like I said, once everything is packed away, it's only just about two and a half inches thick so it's really not that much at all and of course it just clip, gets clipped off to the back of my side mount harness 
Now let's move on over to some public safety gear, but we do have a couple of crossover items that I use not just in side mount and overhead environments, but I also use in public safety. We're going to look at the helmet first. So the helmet I've got is from the Mares XR line, and they just called it the, the hard cap there. Of course, I do have a mount here for GoPro. And I've got actually four lights on here. You will notice that I'm no longer using the canister light. I've kind of went away from the canister light. I still got it. It's up here. This is from the Mario's XR line as well. But I've kind of went away from it and I've went totally hands-free on my light systems here. And I've got four lights. I've got two that are identical from Comfort Zone Scuba. This is their Land and Sea model. So I got those two. They're quick, easy to snap in and out. I can just pop them out. These are also the same lights that you saw in one of our previous videos with my full face mask so it's just very easy to snap in and out there and then i've also got two of the mares xr backup lights as well and they just slide on with the rail system that comes with the um, mares helmet there and it's just identical over here on the same side and no i don't need four lights especially in an over open water environment but in an overhead environment i like to carry four lights they're hands free they're all four i can just pop them off if i need to put them in my hand then i can snap them back in to keep them hands free as well now this helmet also doubles for my salvage helmet so if i'm in a salvage situation where i don't need a full face mask i don't need a comm system maybe i'm not diving in a hazmatic environment i can wear this helmet as well i've still got my camera still got all four lights that i need and it really works great for salvage so it's a crossover item as well Moving on over, of course, I have a set of shears. I have also a knife, and then I also carry a line cutter. Now, this is the exact same line cutter that I keep for, say, open water environments. I just keep it on my waist strap. Uh, this just happens to be one of the spares. You can see this one's pretty nasty. However, this one is slightly different. This one over here is just a standard line cutter from the Mares line, Mares XR. This one still has the ceramic cutter, but if I open up this side, you will notice it's a lot wider. So not only can I cut line, I can also cut rope and things like that. So it is a slightly different line cutter from the Mares XR line. It's the adjustable in there. Um, and it, it just comes in the same sheath. I just pulled that one out of the sheath that's on the BC, but it does come in the same sheath that this one does. Um, I've just got it laid here for display purposes. And of course, I keep that, like I said, I keep a, another cutting tool. I actually have three for public safety and salvage. This is just a glorified uh, steak knife, if you will, that I cut down and grind down. And it, it stays on the waist strap as well. So this, just like in any other system I've got, goes to my low pressure inflator hose. This right here, these two are on the left side of my buckle on my waist strap where I can get to them with either hand and I can actually get to all three with either hand. Got a spare double under there. Once again, just goes to my right uh, shoulder D-ring. And then I've got my mask. Now this is a primary mask for salvage work if I'm not in a full face mask situation or it becomes a backup mask that is usually in my right thigh pocket of my dry suit. I can use it as a spare mask for technical diving, a spare mask for, uh, say, side mount diving. I can also keep it as a spare mask for salvage public safety and commercial diving when I'm in a full face mask. I also have my two 50 pound lift bags. I've actually got a video showing you exactly how I mount these to my system, which if you've watched any of our public safety videos, you will see these. They are just mounted to the front of the back plate on the side where I can get to either bag with either hand and it really makes it easy. And there are a lot of situations where I need just 50 to 100 pounds of lift. That's great. I don't have to carry our big salvage bags and it works. On my left thigh pocket of my dry suit, anytime I'm in, say, a full face mask, this guy right here pops out. And this is just a second stage from the Ocean Reef line. It's got a quick disconnect. And if I find myself in a situation where my full face mask has failed, I've had to switch over to an alternate air source system, I can disconnect the full face mask pop that back in and guess what i still got a fully functional regulator with two second stages i have the backup that i just switched to this becomes the new primary which i can switch back on and i can make a safe uh, ascent to the surface or worst case scenario when i get to the surface and get rid of the full face mask throw this guy on and boom i can keep on working very easily so that's why i use that there now moving on over this is my comm units now these are spare comm units uh the one i'm currently using which is identical to this is on my full face mask so i'm not going to be pulling it out right now because you guys saw that in our mask video and the rig rundown of the mask but these are spare comm units they're just gsm units from the uh ocean reef line 
And I don't, I don't particularly like the Mercury unit. The Mercury, Mercury unit is the dual channel unit, plus it comes with two uh, earpieces. I don't really like that for what I do. What I use these for, I really like the GSM G-Diver system. It's a one and done system and it works very easily. As far as surface units, I have two that I carry with me on every salvage job. I have one that is, I can actually, it's mobile. I can walk around with it if I'm the surface guy. And of course, uh, this just clips to my belt, drops the antenna down in the water. And then of course, I got a headset here that I can talk through. And if I'm not in a mobile situation, maybe I'm the surface guy or I'm the guy that's on the boat for the day. I also have a box unit that I can use as well. It uses the same antenna, drops it down in the water. And of course, I've got a uh, little headset here or handset that I can use to talk. And of course, this has a built-in speaker unit. It's got a volume control, but I can also plug uh, these earpieces in if I want to keep it say private conversations or whatnot I can plug that in as well and then once again guys if I am the surface guy for the day I have my PFD this is nothing fancy this is just a Kent PFD it is a rescue model it's got um, the reflective tape all the way around it uh, it's very easy to use it does have pockets here usually in the winter time if I'm surface I'll throw some type of hand warmer system in there it's also got pockets here to put my hands in to keep warm or to store items in and then of course it's equipped with a set of shears as well like I said earlier I bet you I've got about 20 pair of these that I change in and out and earlier I mentioned about throwing these guys away when I use them that's exactly what I do. So if I'm underwater and if I have an emergency situation where I have to pull out a cutting device, i.e. shears, and I pull a set of shears out, I use them, toss them. I do not attempt to re-stow them, if you will. It's a little bit different in a teaching rig. If I pull it out and use it, then I've got time. But in a public safety situation, if it's an emergency, I pull it out, I cut myself free, drop the shears, come to the surface. I still have two other cutting devices I can use if I need. But, um, but yeah, I have so many pairs of these just laying around. I got 20 pairs. As a matter of fact, every single BCD that I've got, even this one here, Every single BCD that I've got has a set. Even my daughter's has a set and every single BCD has a set. So I have those literally just laying around because we use them all the time. We go through them very quickly and they're inexpensive. That's what I love about these shares as a cutting tool. They are very, very inexpensive to replace um, and they've probably got the best holster for them. They're super easy to use. I know a lot of people like the Kydex holsters on them, but they're so expensive. These are the exact same shears, come with a little bit cheaper holster, and they're Velcro. They're easy to use. You can get to either hand. But that's it for my public safety accessories. A lot of these, like I said, they some of these are crossover items as well, but that's what I'm using currently for public safety diving. All right, there you go, guys. That is the 2024 Rig Rundown Accessory Edition. That is every accessory that I'm currently using in 2024. Now, it's not all the accessories on. I got walls and cabinets full of accessories. I got boxes full of accessories up here. These are just the ones that I'm using in 2024. That's how I attach them to me. That's how I carry them, why I carry them, and even how I use them when I'm diving. If you got any questions on any of the products here, let me know down in the comment section below what your question is, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can, and hopefully I can answer some of your questions as well. But also let me know down in the comment section below, is there anything I left out that you would feel would be beneficial to us and help keep us even more safe when we're out here doing this type of diving? But guys, that's it for today. If you liked the video, big thumbs up. Definitely share this video. Once again, if you've got any questions, drop me a comment down below. I really hope you enjoy this entire series of our personal or my personal rig rundown for 2024. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.